the InSight lander left Earth six years ago. The first outer space robotic explorer to study the interior of Mars. With less fanfare than many missions, Touchdown confirmed. InSight landed, put down a seismometer and a heat monitor, and sat for four years listening, till its power ran out in 2022. A far cry from the Curiosity rover that has spent more than a decade scampering over the Martian surface, delighting Earthlings as it searches for ancient life on the rocky landscape that once had rivers and lakes. These rippled textures were created billions of years ago by waves in a shallow lake. But InSight, it turns out, found a subsurface world that scientists could only guess at till now. Mars once looked like Earth uh, three billion years ago. And now it doesn't. It's dry and it's desolate. And so a big question is, where is the water? Where did it go? With its thin atmosphere, water on the surface of Mars evaporated billions of years ago. But below the surface, the InSight lander, while dormant now, listened over those four years to seismic activity from 1,300 Mars quakes. Computer modeling from those signals suggests that just below the surface, the upper crust is indeed dry and fractured but that way below, 11 to 20 kilometers deep, the mid-crust of Mars is saturated with water, oceans of water. It would be enough to cover the entire planet in water, one or two kilometers deep. Locked away inside, the water may very well have microbial life from the past or even now. We know that water is a key ingredient for life as we know it, and it means that it's potentially habitable um, in the mid-crust of Mars. And so there's just so much to learn when you know where the water went. Where it went not only saved water from evaporating, it may prevent us from getting to it. The technology to drill many kilometers deep into Mars doesn't exist. Still, the findings add tantalizing evidence that life does exist elsewhere in the universe and possibly on the planet that we can see in our night sky. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.